Let us now discuss example 7 which is based on square. The question says ABCD is a square, M is the midpoint of AB and N is the midpoint of BC. DM and AN intersect at the point O. Which of the following is correct? So we have to find out which of the given answer options here is correct based on the uh, given question. Base. So it's all about constructing it properly. So let's do it in a step by step uh, process. ABCD is a square. So let's draw a square. You know that in a square all the four sides are equal, right? See the moment we think about square, you should, you know, get all the properties. All the four sides are equal. All the angles are 90 degrees, right? Likewise, if it is about a rectangle, opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are equal, angles are 90 degrees, diagonals bisect, etc., right? So ABCD is a square. The four sides are equal. Then M is the midpoint of AB. So M is the midpoint of AB. Let's draw the midpoint. And N is the midpoint of BC. N is the midpoint of BC. DM and AN intersect at point O. So draw DM. DM is this point, this line. And AN, right? The other line is AN. AN, right? AN. So these two intersect at the point O. So this is the point of intersection, point O. Now from this, we need to find out which of the following is correct, right? Which of the following is correct. And if you look at the first option here, OA is to OM. OA is to OM is 1 is to 2. AN uh, is equal to MD, then ADM equals to ANB. So angle ADM, ADM, this angle should be equal to uh, angle ANB, ANB, angle AMD, AMD is equal to BAM, is equal to BAM. So we have to find out which of these options are correct. So if you look at these two triangles here, right, we see, we see there are two triangles. One triangle is AMD, AMD is one triangle and the other one here is ABN, right, the triangle ABN. A, B, N. If you observe in both the triangles or uh, both the triangles are right angle triangles. In both the triangles we have a right angle. Angle A here is 90 degrees. Angle B here is 90 degrees. Right. So this angle is 90 degrees. This angle here is 90 degrees. So both are right angle triangles. Right. A, M, D is a right angle triangle. A, B, N is also a right angle triangle. Again if you observe, so both are right angle. A equals to 90 degrees in this case and B equals to 90 degrees in this case. Right? Now, if you look at the first triangle AMD, in the triangle AMD, AD is one length and in the triangle ABN, in the triangle ABN, AB is the length. Both are equal, AD equals to AB. Why? Because it is a square. We know that in square all the sides are equal. So, this length is equal to this length. Right? Now, if you observe the next point here, AM is half of AB, AM is half of AB, we know that and if you look at BN, it is half of BC. Since AB equals to BC, half of AB should be equal to half of BC. So I can say AM, AM equals to BN, AM equals to BN. If you look at all these three similarities here, right, both are right angle triangles, right, then sides are equal and these two sides are also equal. So which means this hypotenuse, this is the hypotenuse made up of this length and this length. Then the other hypotenuse is this made up of AB and BN. We know that AB equals to AD, AM equals to BN, which means the hypotenuse will also be equal. Yes or no? Because if you apply Pythagoras theorem, what will be uh, DM square? DM square will be equal to AD square plus AM square, which can be taken as AB square plus BN square because AB, AD equals to AB and AM equals to BN, which means both the, uh, both the hypotenuse are equal. So we can come to a conclusion that a, this DM equals to a. You understand? DM equals to AN or AN equals to MD as given in the option here. Option B will be the correct answer. So it's all about observing, right? I mean, you need not write all these steps, right? These are observations which you have made out of uh, the given figure there. So find out uh, based on the similarities which of the following are correct. So we can say DM equals to AN. So th those two lines that we have drawn uh, connecting the midpoint uh, to the opposite uh, vertex, right? Diagonally opposite vertex will be equal. And this is a very simple observation. I'm sure all of you will be able to crack this uh, without any difficulty.